Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope everything's fine. Today we're gonna talk about our June 3rd class. Did you read this text? It talks about the Goodyear's airship Pilgrim, the first object to fly using helium instead of hydrogen, all right? On July 17, 1925, it made its first flight with helium and it was advi advertised as Goodyear's first air yacht. Pilgrim was retired on December 3rd, 1931. By then, it had made 4,765 flights, carried 5,355 passengers, and flown a total of 2,880 hours and covered 94,974 miles. On the text, we will have a lot of verbs, such as to use, to advertise, to be, to make, to inflate, to take, to believe, to serve, to live, and to explain. All right? So let's talk about home practice now. Home practice starts on page 1,402, going all the way to 1,406. On the first exercise, you guys had to choose the correct options, the most appropriate options for each of the situations. So number one, two strangers in a train. The correct option would be, it's quite hot in here. Do you mind if I open the window? Number two, two colleagues at work. The correct option would be, I forgot my pen today. Can I use yours for the day? Number three, at a restaurant. Excuse me, but do you mind if I take this chair? The most appropriate answer, no, not at all. Okay? Number four, a man talking to his neighbor. The correct option would be, sorry, Mike but your music is a little too loud. Could you keep it down, please? It's late and I have to get up early tomorrow. Number five, a tourist in a city. The most appropriate option, excuse me, how do I get to the city center? Number six, a couple at home and the phone is ringing. The most appropriate option, Danny, could you get that, please? Okay. On letter B, you had to complete the questions according to the context. So, for example, on number one, we're talking about check-in. So, letter A, may I have your ticket, please? B, may I see your passport, please? C, would you like a window or an aisle seat? D, do you have any baggage? E. Would you mind telling your final destination? F. Would you like to upgrade to business or first class? And G. Do you need any help getting to the gate? So, number two, we have a simulation of a dialogue at check-in. So, letter A, the passenger service agent. Good morning, may I have your ticket, please? The passenger, here you are. The agent again. Would you like a window or an aisle seat? Then the passenger answers, an aisle seat, please. The agent, do you have any baggage? The passenger will answer, yes, the suitcase and this carry-on bag. And then the passenger service agent will ask, here is your boarding pass, have a nice flight. And the passenger will reply, thank you, okay? And then on number three, we're going through security at an airport. So letter A, could you step through the scanner? Letter B, could you step to the side? Three, could you raise your arms to the side? F letter D, could you empty your pockets, please? Letter E, could you take off your shoes and belt? And letter F, could you take any electronic devices out of your bag. Number four is a dialogue in security. So we have a security officer and a passenger talking. So we start with the officer. 
the officer will say, next, let her be the passenger. Here is my ticket. The officer, could you step through the scanner? The passenger will ask, what's wrong? And the officer will answer, could you step to the side? The passenger replies, certainly, on letter F. Letter G, the officer, do you have any coins in your pocket? And the passenger will answer, no, but I have some keys. Letter I, the officer, oh, that's the problem. I need you to put your keys in this bin and walk through the scanner again. The passenger will answer on letter J, okay. The officer, letter K, excellent, no problem. Remember to unload your pockets before you go through security next time. And then the passenger on letter L, I'll do that, thank you. And the officer on letter M, have a nice day. Number five, passport control. Passport official, good morning. May I see your passport? Letter B, the passenger, here you are. Letter C, the official, thank you very much. Are you a tourist or on business? The passenger will answer, I'm a tourist. And then the official, that's fine, have a pleasant stay. And the passenger will say, thank you. Okay? And to conclude on number six, we're talking about customs. Letter A, the customs official. Good morning. Do you have anything to declare? The passenger on letter B, I'm not sure. I have two bottles of whiskey. Do I need to declare these? Letter C, the official will answer. No, you can have up to three liters. Letter D, the passenger, great. Letter E, the customs official again. Did you bring any food to, into the country? And the passenger will answer, just some cheese I bought in France. Okay, any problems in home practice? I hope not. So let's go to our review. On this class, we're gonna talk about requests, offers, and asking for permission. To make a request, to express that you want something, that you desire something, you will have some possible expressions. The most common ones are can, could, and would you mind. For example, could you explain the checking process, please? I didn't understand. All right. To make offers, you will also have some expressions. Now you are offering something to somebody. We can use, for example, how about care for, would you like? For example, would you like me to make some coffee while you wait? You are making an offer, right? And also to talk about permission, to ask for permission. I can also use can and could. I can also use would you mind? And the most common way would be may, okay? For example, may I use the bathroom now or do I have to wait for the plane to be flying? Okay, so guys, the differences between all these structures for requests, offers, and permission is usually the degree of formality, but all of them will transmit similar ideas, okay? Just choose according to the situation you are in. Good? So now, watch your live classes, talk to your teachers, do your class practice, and like our video, leave your comments, and also subscribe to our channel. All right? So guys, thank you very much. Have a nice day. See you next class. Bye-bye.